I'm here now anyway, so you know. What more could you possibly want? Let me switch it. Nice. That is some nice stuff. Sweet. Epic. Nice. Amazing. Incredible. Mind blowing. Let's turn the lights off. Or do we keep them on? Now we turn them off. And we draw the gardens, of course. Fantastic. <coughs> Alright, so who do we actually have in here? Let's have a look. We have me, Callum, and Joe. We need more people. Let's invite some more people. Hmm. Have orange for vitamin C. Charlie should be watching soon slash now. Good. That is a good thing to see. Who else can we get in here? Who else is even interested? Hmm. Ah, still a bit of orange pill on there. Them and see. Nom, nom, nom. Hmm. Three more minutes and then we'll start. Sandwich BRB though. Okay, hurry up. We start at 11 o'clock. Mmm, coffee wish good. So, everyone in the chat, talk to me. What's going on? How has your day been? What are you up to, apart from watching me? You got two minutes if you if you want to go get okay one minute if you want to go get a sandwich, bro. Hurry <laughs> oh, yeah. up! Everyone wants a freaking sandwich. I swear. <laughs> peeps these days. But he's been shot, had revisions and stuff. Everyone's had revisions and stuff. Charlie Wilson has just messaged me saying, can I rub my nips live? No. 
No, I cannot. Sadly. <laughs> You're on the wrong website for that. <laughs> hmm. Hurry up with that sandwich, bro. Mmm, mm, that's good. Inception music stuck in my head now. Dang. Dang. Tell you what it sounds like. Shut up. <laughs> it is time, actually. These two, you better hurry up and back. Yes, Joe is back. Callum. Hurry back if you're not. If you're already. If you're just here, then I'm going to start now because because tough titties. Oh, five people. This is good. It is time. Time to log off Facebook. Time to log off everything else. Time to actually start the freaking game up. <laughs> That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? The music in this game really helps make it such a good soundtrack. Oh. Biscuits are rushing on. Alright, let me pull my stream up. Ah, uh -huh, nice, it works. That's magnificent. It's already coming up. OBS is the best streaming software ever. Okay, Callum Bright, I'm sorry, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to start without you. Let's do this. Let's get involved. Are you ready? Maybe Weetos instead. Boss. Absolute boss. Alright. Okay, what happened last time? Is Mitzi still here? I can't even remember what we're actually doing now. Okay, I'm having a bath. And I just can't remember what happened last night. Um, that is Susan Boob. Alright, giggity. Ms. Ashworth, Sarah I Susan Boob. Black and white Can I come in? Boo. I'm in the bar. Is it something important? Yes, very important. The fate of the world depends on it. <laughs> Susan Boo. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go there, you know, whatever it is you can wed. You can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. Yes, that you one. You can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. A lesbian? I told you I had a boyfriend, Miss A. Both girls shouldn't get embarrassed of each other. Where do you get ideas like that's that? Weird. I don't know. It seems everyone is gay these days. Now, that's okay with me. Don't get me wrong. But I don't necessarily want a lesbian to stare at my boobs, if you know what I mean. Today, if I want to stare at some boobs, I'll take my top off and look in the mirror. Touche. Right. Come in, then. Where are the subtitles gone? I'm cooking up some pancakes. What do you like on yours? We've got strawberry jam, maple syrup, and chocolate spread. Let's be nice. Oh, is that the reason you're in my bath? Oh, nice. I like pancakes. I love one of each. Oh, nice. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh, no. You'll have two of each. I made so many that'd be enough for an army. I don't really eat much. That's because you haven't tried my pancakes yet. And if you don't leave me alone now, I never will. Really? Why? 
I can smell something funny. I think your pancakes are burning. <laughs> I, uh, I think she was being mean. I'm so full up. Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. He was the king of pancakes. I'll wash up, if you like. I can do that. I like washing up. Where's the sink? You do. there, on the right hand side. Really? Really. I'm a good girl. And this is my treat for you, after all. She's a good girl, let's see. It's like we got the rain back. Good. I almost felt like something was missing. Do you think it will ever stop? Ooh, it's good coffee. I mean, what if it doesn't? Then it will rain for a million years. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What did you say it was called again? For the third time. Social network. Why is it so difficult to remember? I just find the whole idea really stupid. Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? So maybe you would feel better for sharing it with your friends. That's the whole idea, Callum. It's just depressed. But I don't have any friends. No, you wouldn't with this attitude. You, on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them. <laughs> How is that even possible? Well, what can I say? I'm very likable. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, they come every time you play the piano? Yeah, I don't really play that often. Mostly when I feel really sad. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. Hmm. You saddo. I know a song written just for you. Remind me to play it to you sometimes. It'll cheer you up. It's called All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun. Flowers, yeah. Of course they do. <laughs> do you know it? It's written by Jeff Buckley. He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. I never heard of him. No. Probably didn't. He drowned in Mississippi when he was only young. Oh man. Them legs. Susan's actually quite hot when she's chilled out a little bit. You would. Damn right you would. <laughs> I've created a profile. Uh, Maybe now you'll learn how to use it. What am I going to do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite them. Talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? I don't know. I can't think of any names. I probably never really cared enough about anybody. How about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues from work? Nope. Friends. Zero. At least they're right about one thing. God, she's depressing. I'll ask you later. That'll be a start. I made us some coffee. Sit down and talk to me for a moment. I'm having a bad day. Wait, you with some company. Oh, I don't wanna. Okay. <sighs> sure. Coffee sounds great. Okay, I just want to see why. Uh, I'm just going to save it quickly. Stream L. And then I'm going to quit to the menu quickly. And it might quit me out of the game. But I just want to see why the subtitles aren't working because it's really bugging me. Let me boot the game back up. The subtitles have a lot of context to it because they're colours and you know they don't really seem out of place. Subtitles on. Push T on your keyboard to switch them on and off during the game. Oh, okay. Alright, thanks game. Load game. Load stream yell. Subtitles on. There we go. They must have been switched off somehow. Okay, let's uh let's go speak to Mitzi. Chair, sit. What's wrong, Mitzi? Well, 
I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. That's better. I've been thinking about it the last few days, and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along, looting myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. Maybe I can help you. I have lots of free time, you know? Last night, I made this, well, map. Hmm. I made a map. This is our building, all four floors. There are two flats on each floor. Okay. You really want to help me? Yeah, we're That's gonna so hunt great, down. Say. How will I ever pay you back for this? I'll think about it later. But we haven't found him yet, have we? No. But I feel that together we stand a chance. So, let's talk about it. What do we know already? Okay. Just keep hitting the mic, I'm sorry. I know that rude bald guy lives in flat six. I know that rude bald guy lives in flat six. I told you about him, didn't I? I think so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Right. That's Brian Palmer. Let's mark him on the map. What else do you know about him? Not much. Wait. He's a dick, I remember though. some woman lived there with him. I've not seen her for ages. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? Yes. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I suppose so. I think so. Okay. Let's take a closer look at him then. He's a dick, though. I'm uh, pretty sure one of the flats is empty. There's an odd married couple that lives next door. We can cross off our flat, of course. We can cross off our flat, of course. Yep, good. That leaves us with only seven flats. <laughs> oh, there's a little winky also, face next to the there's an Mitzi. old man in flat five, <laughs> right opposite the Brian's place. Old man. Okay. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. I hate dogs. I don't mind dogs. Tell me about it. Quite like these smelly creatures. Can you imagine the eye of Adam being a dog lover? Can't see why not. No way. In that case, it might be worth looking into. This is going to be cool. Um, there are strange noises coming from flat seven. There are strange noises coming from flat seven. Interesting. What kind of noises? Like screaming, explosions, guns. Then God be playing cod. And insults shouted very loudly at yep, someone. Yeah, definitely cod. <laughs> Hundred and ten percent cod. I think I might know what's going on there, but it's worth checking anyway. Do you know the person who lives in that flat? Cod. No, I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I How know she is hear what it? I overheard from neighbors' gossips. Oh, okay. Pretty sure one of the flats is empty. There's an odd married couple. There's an odd married couple. There's an odd married couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about them? Well, you wish, the man Joe. is called Joe Davis. He seems nice, quiet type. But I heard him shouting a couple of times, and he sounded almost like a different person. Like a madman, you know? I gather they must have some serious relationship problems, and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. It's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbours. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. And the wife? Ivy Davis. Or is it's it Ivy. Sophie? It's Ivy. I can't remember now. I'll tell you in a Anyway, minute. she's very polite. Always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. She's one of those size double zero ladies. So skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking skeleton. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day, or nothing at all. She looks right. quite ill, actually. Anything else? They used to have a cat, Lucifer. I often wonder what happened to the poor little chap. Okay, Joe and Ivy Davis, um, before the creators of this game made this game, they made another game called Downfall and Joe was the main protagonist and Ivy was his wife and um, 
Joe is the guy you play as, and he is one fucked up puppy, and it's the same guy. So just so you know that, he's fucked up. Big time, you'll see. It's not a spoiler because they made the game before this, but maybe I'll stream it one day. I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Hmm. Which one? I think it's the one on the first floor. That one is empty. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. Her husband? I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. When I do, it's usually in the hall. When she's pushing a pram with a baby inside, she <laughs> always has thought, tons yeah. of shopping hanging from it. I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. And? I hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. I reckon it's flat seven, to be honest, because, you know, I don't know, he gets all his aggression out when he plays friggin' cod noob. I think that's all we know at the moment. Okay. I think that's all that we know at the moment. <coughs> Pardon moi for the coughing. I didn't mean to deafen you all. <laughs> this reminds me. I found an old baby pram in my bedroom among all the stuff. Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? You never talk about it. Oh dear. <clears throat> Do I have kids? Do you find a pram in the spare bedroom? No, I don't have kids. Why do you want to know? I don't want to talk about it. Nope, I don't have children. No, I don't have children. Okay. But you did, didn't you? Come on, Miss A, it's alright. You can talk to me about it. More story. Do you see any kids here? You don't want to know about my problems. Let's just drink our coffee, yeah? Let's just drink our coffee, yeah? I just really want us to be friends. You nosy I bitch. I could do with one. I'm not very hmm. good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. I told you about Jack and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? You told me because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. She's got a point. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't of ten what, terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... Oh god, we're gonna Even find out some... for me? We're gonna find out some serious, serious background right here. Cirrus. Fuck. Missy got crazy. Miss Ashworth, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, it was an accident. Oh, is that what? <laughs> I thought it was something worse than that. I thought it was just like going to start smashing the place up with a hammer or something. You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. Whoa. Who's out the door? I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, it's going to be that dude, isn't it? Freaking moaning about it. Who is it? Hang on a second. I have a really bad feeling about this. Flowers. Who the fuck? What? He's got a hammer. What's that in your other hand? Go away. Who is this Leave guy? Leave me alone. Who is this guy? Okay. Did you fucking... <laughs> what the hell? Let's see. Let's see. Sometime today would be amazing. Oh, what the hell? Where's Mitzi gone? Okay, what the... What the actual fuck? 
<laughs> Who is this dude? What right does this dude just like have to come into my flat and be like, yo, what's up? Here's some flowers. I'm going to stamp on them now. I'm going to hit you with a hammer and kill you. I'm so confused. Humanity is crazy. Oh. Hi, Kyle. Okay. So where am I now? Where am I now? Fuck this shit. <laughs> the first door I enter, and there's some person knitting. Well, it's not a person. It looks like a spider knitting something. Monster. Look at. What is this thing? I think the worst thing about it is it looks a bit like me. No, it looks nothing. Look at the reflection. Look at the reflection behind me. I'm in the hospital stuff, and I'm drugged up, but... What the hell, man? I am out of here. Fuck this shit. Oh. What? What? What is, what is going on? What is going on? Alright, that's slightly ominous. Lots of skulls. A door with skulls. And I can't go any further that way. This is the spare room, isn't it? This room. Why don't it have to be this room? It's locked. Oh, of course it's locked. Of course it's locked. That just makes sense, doesn't it? What? Oh, what? Oh, really? It seems I'm trapped in my own living room. Well, it's not my apartment. I hope it isn't. Yeah, I hope it's not as well. The decor is terrible. I don't think I'm strong enough to break through this wall. Am I dead? We got some epic music going on. Now what do I do? Rag. Examine. No torn up piece of cloth is resting on my coffee table. What's that? There is a knife underneath. Good. I have been quite useful lately. Take examine the mirror. Strange, the back of the mirror seems loose. Could there be a secret compartment behind it? Yes, so use the knife on the mirror. Nice! Aha, I knew there was something hidden here. Key, and what is that? A lever? That's quite creepy. What is this? A mace? It's homemade, a homemade mace. I can smash through the wall with it. Use. Got oh, Susan. Do you even lift? I don't know what the hell kind of freaking animation that was, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, use the key. I know it's locked, I know it's locked. Use the key. Oh, really? I'm back here again. <sighs> and I'm back in my old friggin' clothes as well. Ow, oh, my back is aching. Candle, 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 candle. I, I can't leave. Can I go down the hallway? Do I have to blow another candle out? What's if I blow a candle out, do I come back to life? That is the question. But before I do that, I want to explore the rest of the place. I can't, can I? What the fuck? Let's, let's blow this one. Let's blow this candle. Huh? Ha! <laughs> Owned. Well, that was a pointless death, wasn't it? Okay, we get it. He's he's dead. Now oh, let's. I'm still here. Do I need to find a way to get back there? I can't get out of here. Well, let's break this wall down for starters. Use. Bam. Susan, do you even lift? Best animation ever. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know, I was thinking that. I was just like, he's just driving along and all of a sudden his car just goes... <laughs> just rolling over. <laughs> Door. Locked. There must be somewhere to open this padlock. You examine the padlock. Oh, it's a code number. Well, I don't know the code, do I? So... One, one, one. Obviously not correct. Oh, we're in like a dog. Look at junk. Examine the junk. I don't see anything useful here, just old parts of boats and empty barrels. So flip. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, one, eight, one, two, three. How you doing, bruh? There's a boat back there. It probably just fell apart if I got in it. It would probably just fell apart if I got in it. That, that grammar. That grammar. It's so old and rotten through. Okay, there's number three, cut into that net there. Number nine? Eight? That's gotta be an eight, right? Three. <gasps> the padlock! Three... Eight... One? Three, eight, four? Have I forgotten what a four looks like? Nope, three, eight, four. I think that's three, eight, four. Three, eight, four. Remember that, guys. Three, eight, four. Sign. I can't understand most of it. It's all technical stuff. Wait, what's this? Minimum passenger handling capacity two. How bizarre. Not maximum, minimum. Activate. There is no power. It must be activated somewhere else. Maybe that building at the bottom of the pier. Hmm. Okay, so the passcode, we've got to remember that. 384. 3 to the 8 to the 4. So it's just yeah, three eight four or three eight one. Yeah, Joe is correct. Ship, look at. It's hard to tell from the distance, but it looks completely abandoned. Okay, three eight four. Let's try three eight four first. And nice, three eight four. The hell? Is it? Is it another me in the background? What is going on here? What the hell is actually going on here? Panels. There's a small hole in the side of the panel. I guess I need some kind of lever to operate it. Okay. Machinery. Look at. I've seen this machine before when I first visited the wicked world of the dead. Back then, it was my blood that turned it on. Is that the thing where I stuck my I, I arm in the wall because that's freaking creepy as hell. Oh, take lever. I have a lever. But there's lots of panels. Well, let's try the first one. Yes, yeah, okay, let's try the first one. Let's put a lever. And then we're going to use the lever. Jesus Christ. Okay. I nearly crushed Susan, the second Susan. Now let's do the second one. If we move her along or something. I don't know what the mace for. Panel. Operate. And move up. She moved back. Great. So how are we going to do this then? If we just... I didn't even mean to use the mace. I get it. Okay, this is pretty simple. This is pretty simple. Use that one. Then we do the next one with the real lever. Simple as. And then you operate that shit. And you take the baby mace out. <laughs> baby mace. <laughs> and use it on this one. You need to put it in there first. Zack. Jesus. Okay. Then I need, to, I need to lower this one first. Operate. <laughs> hey ho, Jolio. Remove lever. Am I going to kill other Susan? Sweet. Alright. Panel. Ready? 
upright. This isn't going to be pretty. And I'm guessing I need to put a lever back in the main one and turn the machine on. This is not going to be pretty. Oh dear. Pretty. Okay, so tell me, what exactly did that just achieve? Okay, something started up. Stab it or something. Oh, I actually can. Stab. Let's try stabbing. Oh, the other Susan stabs. Oh, okay. Can I stab, like, in the other side of the world? This is freaking... What the hell? Yeah, I think so. It's, like, come back or something. Oh, nice. It actually works. Right in the head. So, I still... I still don't understand what this is doing. You need a sacrifice of soul, which was the cat. What? Is she fo She's following me, alright. It's drugged up Susan, it's oh, I'm so fucking well, I'm so confused. Now what about Oh no 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 that powered up the, the lift. The lift's called oh, music. The lift's got power now. No, not in here. Oh, there was some music stopped. Oh man. Yeah, so, so that powered up the machine to power up the lift. And then the other one, killing the thingy, got me two people. So I can use the lift because it needs a minimum of two people, which is really freaking strange. Now we just got to wait for Drugged Up Susan to get in here. Goodbye, other world. I feel like the music should still be playing and I shouldn't have gone in that room and it would be much more dramatic and suspenseful than it. Ugh, dead people. Oh, it's a Susan. Where is this even going? Oh, shit. What happens if I die in the other world? Okay. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. That's Susan's bathroom. Okay, so now he's tied us up. <laughs> is that you behind my back, Mitzi? Who else is it going to be? Miss Ashworth. I thought... I thought you were dead. I, I was. I saw that man hit you right in the head. Me? Dead? No. No. I'm a tough old girl. Oh, you yes. can't kill yes, me you that are. easily. Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. What? Let's calm down, yeah? Okay, I can do that. What's this? Duct tape. Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. Who is he? Maybe Seriously, we who can is break he? this tape if we pull really hard. You won't hurt to try. It's not gonna happen. That's duct tape. There's nothing a little duct tape won't fix. It's pointless. We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocoons, stuck in a web, waiting to be eaten. Cocoons aren't stuck in webs. Spider. He's gonna play with us for us, isn't he? <laughs> no, he's not. Pull yourself together and stop talking shit. I can't think properly. Okay, any ideas? How about the lockpick? Yeah, how about those lockpicks? They're sharp, aren't they? 
How about those lockpicks that you always carry with you? You know, the ones you got from your dad and used to break into this place? But we aren't locked in a room, are we? Look at the Wrapped shop. in duct tape in case you forgot. How is a lockpick gonna help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. You could use it to cut this tape. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. So let's forget the lockpicks and think of something else, all right? Let's use the sharp knife to cut the duct tape. Since when did you conveniently have a sharp knife on you? Let's use the sharp knife to cut the tape then, shall we? What? You've got a knife? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I just remembered. I can't reach it. So let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? Oh, you are a nasty piece of work, Miss A. I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. It's cruel. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. And you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? You don't really have them. Who are you to call me a liar? I can't reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Don't argue. Come on. Really? Yes. But clearly my word isn't enough. You know what? I'll show you when this is over. If we're not chopped into little pieces, packed in plastic shopping bags and dumped in the trash, that is. Maybe it won't come to that. He might just throw our bodies in the river, or bury them in the woods. Maybe there won't be any shopping. Sounds a bit... Always an optimist. Did, did, he, did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. I've got a bit of a headache. I think I'm alright. What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. But I'll feel better after we've dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. I don't know who the hell this guy is. Rape us? No, he is not. Damn right he's not. Susan is, is worry, damn too powerful I'll for that shit. I'll figure something out. Let's just wait for him to come back. Sooner or later they always make a mistake. Miss A, I'm sorry I had upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. And I'm sorry about the mug too. It's all right. Water under the bridge. So, any ideas? So, uh, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. And you? What do you think we should do? We should kill the fucker. With yes. what? We're tied up. Are you going to headbutt him to death? <laughs> I will, if there's no other way. Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not gonna die here. Not like this. Maybe we can pull this pipe off the wall. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of sharp things around. You know, like, that toilet roll holder actually looks quite pointy. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall? How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. Hold this button to pull the pipe. How is that pulling the pipe? I bet not be hot water. Great, that's just what we needed. Not hot water. A cold shower. <laughs> I used to like flowers, you know. I used to like flowers, you know. Like everyone else. Or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. This must be that he guy. Knew Eric was at work, and I was in the flat, alone. So, every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? My husband. Oh. He was a taxi driver. Worked every weekend. And I was still on maternity leave. Zoe, our little daughter, was only six daughter months as well. old at the time. Well, five months and 28 days exactly. She would be 11 now. Oh, man. Anyway, 
that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away. Phone's ringing. But I really liked them. Somehow, they were extraordinary. Absolutely stunning. And looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. Okay, never flash back. This is going to be full of interesting background. So let's pay attention. Holy shit, Susan. Yeah, she looking good. Oh, right, okay. The walls have right in them. Phone is ringing, answer what? What's going on, Lily's? Smell. The scent is sweet and sinister. Admire. They're the prettiest flowers I've, I ever got. I love them. They're absolutely beautiful. This is fucking excellent music, though. I know one day you will say yes, says the card. If I'm going to keep them, I should definitely throw this note away in case Eric finds it. You should just stop this shit right now, Susan. This is not good. Phone. What the fuck is... Answer. Okay, it's gonna be this dude. What's his name? Who is he? Do you like the flowers? God, he sounds creepy. Mm, I asked you not to send me anything. This is extremely disloyal. I asked you not to send me anything. I, I couldn't resist. Yeah, I, uh, All I can think of lately. It kills me that I can't see you. I would give anything. I'd better stop here. You know very well how I feel about you. Right, I need to deter this guy. <laughs> oh man. Right. Stop it, Winston at once. I have family. I'm sorry I can't see you again. You're wasting your time and money. The middle one. I have a family now. I'm sorry, but I can't see you again. We've managed to patch things up with Eric. And there's Zoe. We have to try and make it work. Our daughter needs both her parents. So, yeah. I can't just run away with you. Life's not a film with Julia Roberts, you know? But sometimes doing crazy things can change your life for better. Do you really want to be that woman who in ten years' time realizes that she's wasted the best time of her life living with a man that she never loved? I... D does she not love him? I love my husband. I can take care of Zoe. I told you before. I'll be a good father to her, if you want. It doesn't work like that. You don't know anything about children. <laughs> I'll learn. Give Very up? well experienced. Honestly. I could never give up Callum. on you, Susan. <laughs> Come on. Don't be like that. You're breaking my heart. This guy has got to stop. Shut up, just shut up, all right. Oh, shut up. Just shut up, all right? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Susan. I got carried away. Yeah, you freaking Please, did. just think about it. No. I have time. I'll wait. Listen, I have to go. It's getting late. Wait. Yeah? When I call you again next Friday... But you won't. You will answer the phone, won't you? No, I will not. No, I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. No, I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. You freaking stalker. I guess I should do something about these flowers. Throw them away. I'd really like to keep them. But I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Sorry, throw them away. Eric can't see. That's not cheating. It... Take. Got okay, a kitchen? Outside? I need to put them in the bin or something. I need to bin them. God, Susan, you walk slow during your flashbacks. Whoa, that's... A very interesting way of actually showing memories, because they're never quite as clear, are they? 
play the piano. I oh, know I can't play now, it'll wake Zoe up. <gasps> Zoe. It's a wedding gift from Eric's father, I haven't really got much time to practice. But when I do, the strangest thing happens. Groups of cats come up to the balcony and stare at me. They try and tell me something. Eric bought this table just a few weeks ago in a second hand furniture shop. We haven't really got a lot of money at the moment. It'll get better when I return to work in a couple of months, I guess. Freaking creepy walls, man. Where's the bin? Sorry, it's bedroom. Examine. My daughter's bedroom. So that's the spare room, right? It's only been two weeks since we moved her cot into there. We should probably get one of those baby monitors, but money's been tight recently. I can hear if she starts crying anyway. Ah, oh, it's murky. Cot. Watch Zoe. She's fast asleep now, my baby girl. She looks so cute. Talk to Zoe. I don't want to wake her up. We'll have all day tomorrow just to each other. Cute. Shelf. Make a salmon. It's one of those cheap self assembly units from the supermarket. Cool. I'm guessing I could put the flowers on there, but I'd rather throw them away. <laughs> you guys, maybe you should go and revise or just, you know. Remember that C comes after B in the alphabet and you'll pass everything. It's fine. It is... Put them down. I need to put them in the bin. I need to get rid of them. Do I have to put them on the shelf? It's kind of bullshit, really. I want to get rid of them because... That, this time I get, like, make up some excuse. Oh, I'm gonna put them on the shelf, I guess. Or on the coffee table. Let's put them on the coffee table. Nope, this will be a bit too obvious. Eric will start asking questions. I really want to avoid that. Asking questions. Say that from your mum or something. <laughs> oh, you guys. Put down. Now I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. Throw them away now. I doubt he'll notice anyway. I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Hmm, Eric Eric's must home. have come home early. But why? Because he smelled your disloyalty. I still want to get rid of them. I don't like them. Okay, no music. Something's... Something's up. Eric! Is that... I assume that's Eric. You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Fuck's your problem. Yes, Susan. There is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What what happened? Not another plank what? Eric, just tell me what's wrong. Eric, just tell me what's wrong, okay? It was those bloody terrorists again. Here on our doorstep. What? Would you believe that? So it was a bomb? Yes, in a restaurant. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? Excuse me? We don't even have a TV, okay? Of course I care, I had no idea. I didn't watch the news, we had cartoons on all day. I didn't even see a TV. I didn't watch the news. We had cartoons on all day. You should pay more attention to what's happening to this country, Susan. I could have died, and you wouldn't even know. Did you get hurt? No, not really. But the cab smashed quite badly. Oh, God. I assume I we're like... was just there when it happened. Private company. There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. This guy's so an asshole stop, already, isn't he? And all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. And just then another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on. 
but imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. Geezer. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. I think the reason she didn't answer the phone is because she thought it was that other guy continuously ringing her. You know, and then the flowers turned up and it rang again and she was like, oh, I suppose I better answer. Alright, I get the glasses, you get the wine. How about get some glasses, please? <laughs> yeah, put him in his place, Susan. How about get some glasses, please? I'm really not in the mood for your nagging, okay? I've had a really bad day. But be are you sure you, you don't want to take bastard. a shower first? No, I just need a drink. I can wash later. Ugh, and he smells. Don't like this guy. I should have just gone off and cheated with the other guy. <laughs> this guy's a prick. Okay. Shit. Oh god. Are you gonna get that? Yes, I'm gonna get it. If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Ooh. Hello? It's me again. Oh god. I'm sorry, but Piss I had off. to hear your voice again. Go home. I love you, Susan. Oh my god. Susan? You still there? No. Nope. Please. I'm sorry, but he's not home. Thanks if <laughs> already insured with someone else. Yeah, that do. Thanks, but we're already insured with someone else. I... Excuse me? Susan, it's me. The only thing I'm trying to sell to you is my heart. Ugh. We won't be needing pet insurance oh. either. What are you talking about? Would you like my husband to talk to you? He's just come home from work. He usually deals with insurance companies. Will you just put the phone down? Once you start talking to them, these insurance bloodsuckers will never leave you alone. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? Yes. Just hang up, Susan. Oh, God, I thought I was going to come and grab the phone for a second there. Yeah, take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Take care, then. God, he's gone. What a dick. Okay, now we're back. We're back here. Then the arguing started. It slowly grew into something bigger, something horrible. Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued, but it was the last. Oh. So look at the state of this place. It's a mess. Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day, but it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. You'll have to organize your day a bit better and get things done. Yeah, if other women I, find I, time, I why can't you? On the spot with that one. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case. Uh, don't be nasty. I'm doing what I can. I'm done talking to you. Now that's that's a bit too harsh. Don't be nasty, I'm doing all I can. Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? Okay, doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work, he's gonna be hungry. But wait, where's his dinner? Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't make it because you were too busy changing nappies and singing and playing and washing. But yeah, I think so. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Damn right, Susan. If you'd spend more time with our daughter yourself, you'd know how important these things are. So pardon me, there's no dinner for a hard-working husband. From now on, he's gonna have to cook for himself. Because, you know what? 
the wife is working just as hard and she's really tired of being treated this way. She better get used to it, because this is just the start. There's going to be some changes around here. I'm fed up of being pushed around by you. I put the bread <laughs> on our table, don't I? She I'm the it. man in this she family! The I will make bread. the rules, and I get the respect I deserve. That's it. Now I'm done talking to you. I'm done talking to you? Yeah. Of course you are. Cunt. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out of arguments, you stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and over again. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? You'd know if you listened to me. But you never listen to me, do you? Not to a single word I've ever said. Right. Here we go. Dick. It's <laughs> not you. The it's the sound. alcohol speaking. <laughs> I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses and you had some too. I'm not drunk. I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life. Oh. That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full of shit, Susan! Slap him in the face with a full of shit. How can you talk to me like this? Why don't you look at yourself, idiot? Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? So I'm an idiot now, am I? You're... You keep picking on me for nothing. No, this was coming, and you know it, Susan. If you're so unhappy with me, then what the fuck are you still doing here? You go, Susan. Pack your bags and leave me alone. You're throwing me out. Susan's bigger than This is my fucking flat! I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it! I'm not going anywhere! How can you talk to me like this? How can you talk to me like this? You're treating me like dirt. Ooh, Did you forget something? I'm your wife. I'm the mother of your child. Doesn't that mean anything to you at all? A wife and a mother? Why don't you start acting like one? When Why was the last time you like showed me dad. that you care about me? All you ever talk about is the baby. I love her to bits, I swear I do. But I want to have a wife too. When was the last time you even kissed me? I'm not even talking about sex. Uh, I knew it. Is that what bothers you so much? Is it? Of course it fucking bothers me. Does it not bother you that we never have time for each other? Look, we are marriage. new parents. It's always hard. All couples go through it. I heard. Well, fuck this. I heard different. <laughs> now I have to go back to this one. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, all right? I kind of Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, a bit. but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. <laughs> well, that's what you think. <laughs> Callum, nice yeah? one. And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day, while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. You're a cab driver, mate. I think you're trying to shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. I agree, Susan. How I agree. How dare you accuse me of such things? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. Let me go. I have to check on Zoe. Let me go. I have to check on Zoe. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. This guy is a prick. Prick. Oh, hey Oliver. That's right. Just walk away. That's all you do, Susan. You can never finish anything. Right, hook him. If there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid Straight conversation. Straight around the head. And then just be like, boom, bam, and then just knee him in the face and just... Yeah, okay, you, you get the message. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? I'm sure Zoe's fine. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. 
It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? I... I guess. Fine. Never mind. I haven't done anything wrong. Wait, but where did this come from? I haven't done anything wrong. Of course not! Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? That's not what I said. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah? Then why are we here now? Because Fighting. you're imperfect. You're an This is all messed up. <laughs> you're behaving like a five-year-old. What the hell is wrong with you? You, Susan. We all love Joe. We all love Joe. You always knew which strings to pull. And we To dip me over us. the fucking edge. Stop it, slut. Stop it. Stop it, Susan. I've only just started. We should finally say to each other what we really think, right? We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so what? absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there, by her bed. She had some rare allergy to pollen, but we couldn't have known that. Oh, no. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing and choking. So, I told you I didn't want to put them in here. I told you it was a bad idea, didn't I? Flower guy killed her baby. The next time we saw her, when we found her, she, she was dead, pretty much. After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. They found him nearly a week later. He drank himself dead in the woods. Wow. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked bad. <sighs> so baby died thanks to Flower Man. I... Eric killed himself. Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. Oh god, Hammer Dude is back in town. What Fuck do you want from us? A prick. Are you dead? Mitzi, it's... let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron. Mitzi. Oh god, oh god. Leave her alone. Don't you dare. No! Take me! Instead! Don't take Missy. I can respawn. I mean, take come me. back. I can respawn. I have lives, okay? Can I move now? Nope. I cannot move. Get away from you me! You hurt my friend. I... I will. What is going on? This is pretty messed up. Like... What the fu... It's just until... What? What's going on? You're letting me go? Just like that? What has what he done with Mitzi? What has he done with Mitzi? Where's my friend? What have you done to her? Kill him, Susan. Kill him. Let's go to the kitchen. Find a knife. Anything. Cupboard. Open. Get a knife, get a knife, get a knife. There's got to be a knife in there somewhere. I Use need a mug of coffee first. <laughs> I need a mug of coffee first. No, you don't, Susan. Can I pour the kettle? There's no water in the kettle. Fill up. I'm <laughs> making coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so 
switch the kettle on. something you got use something as a weapon come on stab me the mug get the mug oh I can't get that mug I can't even okay you he's a dolphin son of a bitch what do you want me to do he's got, he's got a blue line I around don't understand he's pointing at the piano or is he pointing at Missed it. Oh, the piano. He wants me to play the what? He wants me to play the piano. I think that's what he wants. Summon the cats! And the cat's gonna ninja attack him. Claw. Maybe like the, the old guy at the Brian will come down and have a moan and he'll save the day. She only just, uh, she only just knocked the chair down when I started to play the piano. Yes, they really get food. This is, I. Cats are amazing. said she only started to choke <laughs> giggity play the piano chapter six that's fucking awesome the legend of the cat widow I'm really bad at saving my lesbo girlfriend oh <laughs> I don't really just saved her bro oh so who that was the guy with the flowers yeah like 
because obviously he was like, here, have some flowers, which was pretty obvious. How did he even know where she lives, though? Oh, yeah, because he gets them delivered every single time. Must be stalker. Oh, that's, that's just freaking. Oh, I don't <laughs> love the blood spatter on the ground, says Olivier. It's like Dark Souls. You just imagine someone going over to the blood stain. How did you die? Bush A gets attacked by cats. <laughs> We're really going to do it, aren't we? Uh, all right, Captain. Yes, bye. Mitzi. You will finally get your closure. Maybe I will get mine too. Did you take that map with you? Yes. We can always refer to it if we get lost. I've lived in this building for many years. I won't get lost, Mitzi. But it'd be a good idea to cross people off. Once we're sure it's not them, it might give us a clearer picture of how far we've got. Right. Okay. Good luck, Mrs. A. Okay. Doctor. Mitzi. Wait a sec. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? This recent incident, it must have been pretty tough for you. No, I'm good. Never felt better, Mrs. A. You now have Mitzi icon in your inventory. You can use Mitzi's ability to pick locks and ask for advice if you get stuck. Nice. Okay. The Doctor was Parasite 1, the two pest control people, Parasite 2 and 3. I'm going to assume the Hammer guy, MC Hammer, was Parasite 4. I have Adam as the last Parasite. Or in the last Parasite. Huh. Let's get on this map. Check map. Okay, so we're on flat 4. Should we start from the top? Start from the top, work our way down. That seems like a logical explanation. Yeah, it does, Oliver. It's because you mi live in the middle of nowhere, son. Okay. How can this be the top floor, yet there's still stairs going up? And this is like a fire escape or something. A pram. I want to go to the cod one. I want to go to this one first. Cable. Examine. These cables are hanging loose. I don't think it's very safe. Pull. I could pull them out, cut off the electric to both flats. Unfortunately, they're firmly attached to the meter. Why would I want to do that anyway? It's an electric meter for both flats. Switch off. <laughs> oh my god. What's the, what's the point? It's just a trip fuse, don't worry. I'll just flip this switch, and we're back on. Jesse. Can we talk to you for a second? Sure, sure, but not right Jessie. now. Jesse, okay. I'm right in the middle of something. Fapping. Listen. He's watching COD montages. Examine. Some young guy lives here. I think his name is Jesse. He makes a lot of noise, apparently. Knock. <laughs> Oliver, you're so full of shit. Why don't we answer the door? Is he deaf? Open. It's Jesse. Yeah, I think Jesse's home. I can't just barge in. Okay, let's go speak to the woman. Just looking at it is painful. Listen. I can hear a bibby. Knock. What's wrong? I. I really don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. We can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. Let's go somewhere else then. 
We can always come back here later. Okay, top floor wasn't a good place to start, it seems. Alright. Now we go down a floor. Third floor. Which is Mr. Bitch, which we don't like, and uh, who's opposite from him? The old man? The old man, maybe? Listen. I think I heard someone cough. He's home, alright. Knock. Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. Okay, they go just for it, Mitzi. Attention, Mitzi. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, we'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. Oh, good call, good call. I'm Mitzi. not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a He's second. I, deaf as I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Uh, let me get my hair again. Do you think he'll be back with a shotgun? Don't be silly. This isn't America. <laughs> uh, I thought I heard someone. Uh, what did you want? He's got friggin' Alzheimer's, he's deaf. Do you own a computer connected to the internet? Do you own computer connected to the internet? Say again? Right. Okay. Do you... I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. 85? Do you have a computer? Do you live alone? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. It could be someone else. You live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. <laughs> I'll be 85 this year. Yeah, you just said. But I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning, all by myself. So, you do live alone, then? Look, young lady, I don't need any help. I've told them already. I can manage just fine. I still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning all by myself. And not that it's any of your business. When I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to Tell ask about it. I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. I can still cook my bed, oh, and I make my dinner every morning cook my bed. all by myself. Do you have a computer? Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. <laughs> I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. A young pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, no. With all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change oh the batteries God. in my hearing aid. Uh, I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. I'll be right back. No, wait! Jesus. I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. <laughs> to be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. It's not him, is yes, it? This Come is on. pointless. Even if he did have a computer, Probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Oh, he's just Let's a really good actor. Quickly and try to look elsewhere. Can I help you? <clears throat> Not really. We were just going. What? I don't want to buy anything. I told you before. I'm not interested. Oh my god. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll go Sorry now. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. 
Oh, giggity. <laughs> Freaking old man. Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. <laughs> but what? he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep, he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. Okay, that's one down. <laughs> Oliver says, watch the old man talk simulator 2014. Bicycle. Kick. As much as I want to, the noise would only alarm him. That's that asshole who lives here. Pretty sure I can get a better way to get back at Brian. Crank. Remove. You can't be done by hand, we need the right tool to remove it. Listen. Look at this, I'm walking inside. Brian's definitely in. Let's knock on his door and rip his freaking head off. Nope. Don't want to talk to him. Must be another way we can get inside and check if he's who we're looking for. I'd really like to teach him a lesson. Show him I'm not someone he should be messing with. Let's ask for Mitzi's advice. Talk to. So, what next? Let's look around first. We must check everyone. I'm absolutely sure I of Adam is living in one of these flats. Okay. Second floor it is then. This is okay. This is uh, Joe, Joe and Ivy. My God, the creepiest, creepiest fucking guy ever. Listen, Susan looks really creepy from that angle. I think I heard something. Nope, it's probably just my imagination. Open. It's locked. Pick it. Pick it. Can you unlock this door for us? Let's see. Blimey. You don't see these very often. This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just... beyond me. Why would anyone need one of these here? It must have something to hide. Must be like a super Is there advanced, any like other way death. we can get inside then? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic grill. It's just or a wooden a door. Key. Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. Well, what can I say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. It's just an old wooden door. I'm sure, you can kick for it. First floor. The other flat on this floor is ours. Sorry. Sofa. The cat seemed attracted to it, but why? It's just an old sofa. The Morrisons left it here when they moved out. There are some stitches on it and they look fresh. Has it been mended recently? Ah, they've hidden something inside it. From flat one, we apologise for cluttering the hall. The removal of the company the removal company has been called and they will be here to collect the sofa and the chairs soon. We're sorry for the inconvenience. But we're sure you can put up with a few items for a bit longer. Just like you put up with your dog for all these years. <laughs> Susan is like a genome soldier now. What was that noise? Whose footprints are these? Morrison's family used to live here. Knock. There's no no any no. It's just gonna be empty. There's no one there, Susan. No one home. Mitzi, can you pick the lock? Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? Let's see. A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. <laughs> That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. Do you mind? No, sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. Okay. Oh. She actually did it. Oh, this place is weird. Spanner. Yes, we can do that to take his, uh, his bike thing off. Was a 
freaking great hole in the ceiling. This hole must have been made quite recently. It's Joe Davis flat up there. What is he thinking? Digging holes in the floor. Around the edge is some black shiny object. I can't quite tell what it is from here, but it looks like some kind of statue. There's no way I can reach it. Too high. Hmm, if I tape on the right with some bad, 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 damage so badly, I could probably stand on it. But, as it's all rotten, I'd probably only fall through and break my neck. I'll have to find another way to get that statue from up there. It's rotten through. Window. This is the sunny side of the building. My side always seems is always covered in dark, or so it seems. Clearly this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. Okay. This is a what does depression feel like? You should know this, Mitzi. Well, it feels like all I want is to die, but I have to live. That's funny. Most of the time I feel like I want to live, but I have to die. See you later, Oliver. <laughs> it is half past twelve over there, I guess. Anyway, Mitzi. Let's let's go. Let's go fuck with that guy's uh his bike. <laughs> Actually I want to talk to Flat Number Two first. These radiators are some of the few rem remnants of the old days. Most have been taken off the walls. Those that are left haven't been working for years. A grumpy old woman lives here with her ugly dog. I hate dogs. <laughs> No one's in. Um, ground floor. Oh my god, you know who she looks like? She looks like the nurse. <laughs> Fucking hell, the dog, the dog lady, the cat and the dog lady. She lives in flat two with that stinky mongrel of hers. I can't remember her real name, I've always called her the dog lady. Needless to say, we are not the best of friends, but she usually, we usually do our best not to show it. Talk to. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. Yeah, that's and fair you're nice. Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. This can't be sanitary for people living here. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. Are the cats bothering you? Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are actually. They I'm usually trying. stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. And it's that sofa, my god. They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. It was Morrison's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Every time I take William for a walk, he gets William. upset and tries to chase them away. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I know William's the dog. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't Actually. say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. And Missy's They're just standing noisy. in the corner. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't hurt him most of the time. 
What if he runs off and gets lost? I can I'm believe. telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. I'm not going to say they're not my cats because I have to go now. They are my cats. See you later. I am the cat lady. Cabinet. Examine. Looks heavy. I think it's just meant to be a storage place for cleaning products, vases, and junk mail. Those who have lived in this house a long time as me will know there's actually a door to the basement behind it. No one goes down there anymore. It's not safe, apparently. Nothing useful inside, just piles and piles of leaflets. I could push that cabinet out of the way, but I don't really want to be seen. If only we could get rid of this old witch somehow. Ugh, flowers. Someone put freshly picked flowers in a vase to brighten up this grim looking hall. A bunch of roses. Like, like, they're like a bunch of roses in a long forgotten Maybe one grave. day you will forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Maybe. Or maybe not. Mailbox. A communal mailbox. I was all the tenants' mail in separately locked compartments. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Surprise, surprise. All the other compartments are locked. This guy is hiding here, in this house. There's no reason to go outside. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the third floor and fuck with this guy's bike. Bicycle! Okay, remove. Okay, we need the tool. That'll teach you not to mess with the cat lady. No, Susan, that's not good enough. Rag. Borrow? What can I do with this rag? An old dirty rag. Perhaps it served as a doormat once. What do I do now? Inside my flat? No, I just walk through the door instead, that's cool. First floor again. Um, I'm not too sure where to go. Cats. Can use, for some reason, use. Probably the. Do they like the smell of it or something? Or? Sure, I can find a better plan. Hmm. I try using everything on everything, really. Missy, what do you think? So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman and her dog. Let's try picking the lock to... the dog inside. Say something to that that bitch down here and get her to go check on her dog or something. Who's William? Who's William? William is my dog, of course. He's twelve years old, you know. He shouldn't be running after cats at his age. They're not my Look, cats. They're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth. The cat lady. We all know what you do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. He already fucking he did. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. He'll have to talk to them again. 
I hear they've run out of business recently. <laughs> then he'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. I have to go now. See you later. What do we do? How do we... get this bitch to go out of here. We can't like upset her dog somehow. Let's try Jesse again. Maybe the baby? Do we have any reason to talk to her yet or Bicycle crank? I don't fucking know. Um. Let's try switching this off again, see what happens. fuse just keeps tripping. It's yes, like we're living does. in the Stone Age here. Jesse, can we talk to you please? Later mate, later. I'm really, really busy right now. All you're going to say is broken glass and sofa. But where's the broken glass? Maybe in the abandoned flat. First floor? The Joe. Broken glass, sofa. I must have missed it in here somewhere. There is no broken glass. in there though can I? I can't because the dog's in there. I can't I can't just break in here because use a cloth on the radiator, I don't I mean where she is. Ground floor somewhere. There's broken glass, is there? I don't see any broken glass. Any cabinet, flowers, mailbox. There's nothing here, man. There's nothing in here, man. There's no glass down here. What am I meant to do? Examine the cabinet. Nope, nothing. Nope. Trust me, man, there's nothing here. I can't use anything on it either. So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman and her dog. It's 
smell the flowers. Okay. That's very specific. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. But that was stupid. I'll clean it in a minute. But please, be more careful in the future, yes? That's bloody stupid. You be more careful, nosy old witch. Yeah. Okay, breaking piece of glass. That was a that was a shit, really shit thing. That's <laughs> smell it. <laughs> it's forced to pieces. Because why not? Fuck it. Okay, sofa. Use glass on sofa. Cut it open. Get something. Get search. <laughs> get search. What's inside? Hey, look at this. Valerian root extract. Oh. Cats love it. Catnip. It has the same effect on them as catnip. Oh, okay. They go absolutely crazy for it. You found it inside that sofa? Yes. I wonder how it got there. It's gotta be a prank. Maybe the Morrisons wanted to leave a goodbye yes. gift for that woman and her dog? Yes. Well, they would. I always thought they were reasonable people. <laughs> oh, what a shame they moved out. Okay, so now what we, can we do with this Valerian root? Uh, pour on the rag. Yes. Okay. I think we're getting closer. And then we should put this under the door? Or by the door? Or on the radiator? Or... Yes. Come on, guys. The party moved over here. And now if I go downstairs, the dog will start barking at some shit. Where are they? Mrs. A. Mm-hmm. Fucking ninja cats. Well, aren't they quick? This dog is making quite a racket. So she's gonna, she's Someone gonna should upstairs. complain to the owner, don't you think? Definitely. She should put that broom down for a minute and sort a dog out. Dog out? A dog. A dog out. Dog, dog, dog. I bet your dog's being loud and leery. Your dog is making horrible noise. Can't you do something? It's probably because your wretched cat's upset him again. Poor William. Got to wait, watchers. I'd better check on him. Fat bitch. Let's, let's go. Let's go to the dog. She's repulsive. <laughs> William, pop up, my little <laughs> run, kitties, run. <laughs> Are you sure the cat'll be alright? Please. These cats can easily outrun some old mutt. Now we're gonna push this. I'm going to push this cabinet out of the way. I remember there was a door behind it. It's too heavy. I don't think that's gonna work. Are you kidding me? I'll show you how it's done. Susan Stand lifts. Back. Susan lifts. <laughs> look how easy she makes it look. There. The door everyone's forgotten about. Wow. You're stronger than you look, Mrs. A. You have no idea. Yeah. Perhaps I am. Okay, the forgotten basement, pipes, water supply for the whole building can be switched off here. There's no need to do that now though. Extension cord. There was a socket in the empty flat. Coal chute. It hasn't been used for many years. All flats have central heating these days. It can't be opened by hand, I need a crank. How convenient! 
Den habe ich abgeladen. Okay, es ist Coal there. Tin of paint. Open. Lid is stuck. Dry that paint is holding it firmly. I need a tool to pry it open. A dress? <laughs> you see that quiet haven hotel. That's a reference to downfall as well. Take the dress. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from flat six, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. Yes, and he this does. This wedding dress will be perfect for this. You ever heard the legend of the cat widow? The cat widow? No, can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Wicked. Wow, that's pretty crazy, Mrs. A. That's bloody Do you awesome. You really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Are you sure about that? Red paint right there. I promise this will work. And it will give us a chance to check his computer. If he's got one. Okay. So what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. A tin of red paint. Red paint? There's a tin here. We could use that. Mutilated black dress. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Cool. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after all. I'll need some scissors for that. And a mask. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Okay, so we take the dress. Ugh. Sorry, uh, use the dress on the to make it black, right? Okay, black is my colour. I like it so much better now. Me too. Now we just need to go find something. I've got an extension cord. What can we even use that for? Broom. Take. Stealing all kind of shit. We prize the tin open with a broom, maybe? What do we do now? So, what next? Maybe we can find some clues in the mail? There's a mailbox in the hall. How are we going to open the mailboxes, though? You're a professional lockpicking person. Mitzi, get your sexy, thieving ass over here. Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. A little room for the master locksmith. Bitch, you can't even pick a lock opposite my Really? Flat. Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? So shy. Okay. Wait master for it. Master criminal. If anything. Use the ah yes, Joe has the solution. Use the broom to knock that statue off. Of course, I forgot all about Done. that. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Guess what have we got? Letter to Pauline. It's addressed to Pauline Summers. She's that young mother who lives in flat eight. Not here, she'll be back any minute, we'll be caught red-handed. Ok, 
Okay, let's go to the first floor and knock that statue down. Mr. Joe. He knows his shit. Look, she left the door open. She left the door open. Stupid bitch. Do you want to check her flat? I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. Go, I'll be Mitzi, as quick as I can. Go, go, go. Like the wind, Mitzi. Like the wind. It's not her. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops, no telephone line. Okay. I'm not really surprised. Are you? <laughs> no. At no, least Mitzi, we can I now cross her off the list. Okay, so there's Brian, the baby person, Jesse, and Joe and Ivy. I played downfall, so Joe, fucking hell. <laughs> let's go. Okay, let's go knock the statue down. Which Joe is. No. I've just realised that Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe. <laughs> Psycho Joe. Joe. Okay. Broom. Use. Knock that statue down. I'll try to catch that thing for you, alright? Okay. It's a cat. It's a cat. It's a cat it's statue. It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. <laughs> Both on the same floor. So what is this statue? Shake. A key. Break it. Curse! Open to the good old door, man. I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. Oh, actually, I don't remember asking you to catch anything. I'm actually a bit nervous about going to that flat. Letter to Joe. It's from Dr. Frank Zellman. It appears Joe's shrink. Joe's the one above. Apparently Joe failed to attend his weekly sessions recently. Well, well. Looks like Joe's just as messed up as I am. You have no idea. Or worse. Who knows? I should be the last to make judgments, really. Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter Ooh. says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's yeah. certainly worth a try. She could. But I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. I'm gonna go do the babysitter before I do flat three. Because I have a feeling there's gonna be some crazy shit in there. And I wanna get this out of the way first. But then again, this could this could be crazy shit. I just don't know with this game. Coming. Right, step back. I'll handle this. Oh, hello. Hi. She I've heard you're looking well. for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth! Uh, hi, Pauline. Um... How are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. She seems nice. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I. Susan's my auntie's told me about this job. I'm Mrs. Ashworth's lodger. Mrs. A works for the agency. She's here to assess me. No, lodger. Lodger. Oh, I'm Mrs. Ashworth's lodger. She kindly offered me a room, and we've been living together for the last couple of weeks. I met her. Honest. I was looking for a job. My parents pay for the room and school fees, but I could do with some extra spending money. So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. 
My mother always says you have to get your hands dirty to learn something properly. Not that you get dirty hands looking after babies. <laughs> Just m metaphorically speaking. Well, it can get dirty. I hope you understand the job it involves changing that piece too. Yes, of course. I don't have a problem with that. Yes, well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. I could really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes, well, you'll... Okay. <laughs> it just gives in. You owe me. We need to work Big. together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. <laughs> yeah, it is. What a nice flat! I love yeah. the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated it myself just before Alyssa was born. <laughs> Please follow me. Alyssa. We can talk in the living room. This is actually a very nice flat. Drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I'd gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. <laughs> I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. Be quiet. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? moving now okay um i'm just going to very quickly restart the stream so that it archives it in segments small enough to fit onto youtube it'll be like literally a two second break so let me just restart the stream quickly i'll be back in a moment